Hi, this is Sarah Doman with Your Infamous Harp, and I'm here to share with you a quick guide on how to play the game Automacon. Now I've got a one versus one match set up, and I've selected the Crescent Moon map, and I'm choosing to play with a meteorologist hero and the human's race against an AI team with the Komodo hero and the old one's race. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my hero, and I'm going to have her build my generator. The reason I've chosen to build my generator is because it has produce, which means once it's complete, I can start producing my units. Now while she's building that, I'm going to put a skill point into one of her abilities. I'm going to choose Shotgun Blast, and I can press the S key to toggle it on and off. Now if I click on my crystal, this is where I would access my hero abilities when they're available for upgrade. I can also heal my hero underneath the crystal, and if my hero dies, it'll respawn near the crystal. My crystal is essentially my base, and I'm going to want to protect it. The object of the game is to knock down your enemy's crystal. Now that my generator is complete, I'm going to pop out a few rovers, and they're going to chop some trees for me. But in order for those resources to be converted into jewels, I need to have a vendor for them to deposit them in. I'm going to build the silo because it has vendor. And the silo also has supply, which means it'll increase the amount of supply that I have and I can start producing more units. Now I can't seem to find my hero, so I'm going to click the K hotkey to change the angle of the camera, and I can see her right there. I'm going to press I to bring it back. So now that my silo is done, I'm going to put a tower on the edge of my base to protect it while I'm building it up. The tower has shoot, so it'll shoot any enemy units that come around it. And while she's building that, I'm going to pop out a few super tanks to start charging the enemy base. I can see that the enemy crystal is right out in front of us. And I'm going to follow these tanks with my hero once the tower is done. I'm just going to right click on the terrain to move my hero. And here is an enemy Tundra Beast. I'm going to right click on the enemy unit to target it. And I'm going to press the S hotkey to enable my shotgun blast. And now we will carry on. got another skill point, I'm going to put it in a shotgun blast to make it more powerful. And here's the enemy hero. I'm going to target it by right clicking. And we're going to knock these towers down. I'm going to put another skill point in a shotgun blast. and we found the enemy crystal. So it looks like we're going to win this game. Uh, it was short, but it, as you can see, it was fun and challenging. And hopefully all these different aspects of the game will come together and create a great game experience for you. Stay tuned for more videos on how to play Automacon, and thank you for watching.